Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? I am in the bathroom getting myself ready for the day and I'm thinking that today I'm going to ride down to Michael's and possibly Home Goods. I want to film like two Shop With Me um, Halloween videos for y'all because uh, I'm worried that they're going to go ahead and sell out of most of their good stuff early like every other holiday always does. And I've noticed some people are doing uh, their Shop With Me Halloween videos already. And some of them, I think, have decorated already. I'm not doing that. I'm just now about to decorate for fall this weekend. But I do want to see what they have Halloween-wise and go ahead and get a couple of videos up for y'all. And I'm just really afraid they're going to sell out of some stuff. So the plan is, my daughter Katie said that Michael's had a lot of really good Halloween stuff. And I've never looked in there at Halloween time. So that's the first place I'm going to go. She lives in Virginia. So hopefully my Michael's will have some good stuff too. And then um, I might go in Home Goods for a second video because it's right there. But if something happens and they don't have much, then I might just come on back down here to Hobby Lobby because I didn't show y'all everything that Hobby Lobby... Uh, no. Did I say Hobby Lobby? Oh my God. I have got Hobby Lobby on my brain after seeing those Christmas decorations the other day. <clears throat> Big Lots. <laughs> come back down here and go to Big Lots because when I filmed my fall uh, shop with me there... I did not uh, get very much of their Halloween stuff because that's not what I went for. But they had a lot more than I showed y'all. So we'll see where I end up. It might be Home Goods, it might be Hobby Lobby, it might even be Lowe's. My husband mentioned that Lowe's had some decent stuff too. So I am definitely filming Michaels for y'all today. And one more. And I think two Halloween Shop With Me's will be good enough for this year because I've got so much other stuff to do and it won't be long till I'll have to start filming the Christmas ones because Hobby Lobby was full of Christmas stuff already. And I think my husband said Dollar Tree was too. So it won't be long till they'll be selling out of stuff. <laughs> I hate that we have to do stuff so early, but it is what it is. So we're going to head down that way in just a few minutes. I hope y'all enjoy the video. First, we're going to look at their displays toward the front of the store. This is a little display that has some of the craft stuff on it. It would really be a lot of fun to do this with your kids or grandkids. They've got all types of different ones. This is one where you can make masks. Comes with several different kinds in a pack. They also have paints and beads and just lots of different crafty type items. This one was pretty cool. It comes with the different sets of beads that makes, I guess, different ones. And then they have these little ceramic things that you can paint. My granddaughter loves stuff like this. That would be cute for a little Halloween gift for her and KJ. And then little activity books. This is little pins that you can get to put on your shirt or your purse or wherever. This was little colored pencils. It comes with the different colors in there. They have the bats and the pumpkins. I think they had the ghosts. This was cute, a little Hello Kitty notebook. Lots of window clings, pencils, in the cool Halloween designs. And down here they have bubbles, just all kinds of different things you can get for like treat bags for a Halloween party. And all this stuff is $5 and below. The Halloween buckets were $5. Those are so cute. And all the little spiders and 
These are really cool. I might get some of these for diamond, the little press on nails and Halloween designs. They had several different kinds. Erasers. Those would be cool for a school party. Looks like they have stamps and little notebooks. Now over here, these are the wooden signs and different things that you can paint yourself. They come plain and you can just paint them whatever color you want. This is some more uh, ceramic type stuff. I love those three pumpkins at the top. Those are really cute. And they have some wooden stuff that you can paint too. All their fall and Halloween stuff was 40% off, by the way. And this looks like some baking stuff. They have sprinkles. They have the little, like, chip clips in the candy skull design. They have these spoons, like the wooden spoons. They also have these silicone cake pans that looks like a tombstone and a skull head. And all of these are silicone too and you can make like anything you want in there little cakes or candies or even jello then you got the little cupcake toppers the cookie cutters those are so cool cupcake wrappers okay and over here they got like a bin full of the different pumpkins they have white black and orange and over here are some of their little Halloween signs. There's a haunted house. They have the words boo, the potion bottles, the little signs, ghosts. This is a purple and black wreath. That would be cute. I'd probably want to add some stuff to it. And then they have this hanging skull with the bones, witch's brew sign. These are so cute. I really love the dangly legs on the ghost and the cat. And I love these polka dotted pumpkins and they're square shaped. So that makes them really different. Love these little polka dotted pumpkins. Those are so cute. Look at the stripes. Also, they have the spooky spell books with the witch's hat on top. The little chalkboard sign birds the little candy corns are cute too check out these pumpkins they're shaped really cool those are so cute down here we have more haunted houses and the black cat these are headbands with the different designs on them they got witches hats they got all different kinds this is fall and Halloween stuff kind of mixed together. And then over here, we've got the neon signs. They have the cats, the ghosts, the witches, and they got plenty of ribbon for your Halloween uh, wreaths. If you wanna make a wreath or just anything you might need to use ribbon for. The standing broom. Okay, and they had lots of Day of the Dead stuff. These are some cute signs. Be our ghost. That's cute. They got a hocus pocus wreath with a little bit of everything on there. More Day of the Dead stuff. I like the bride and groom. They're cute. And more things that you can paint. Plenty of florals. They're $4.99 each. I don't know if that counts the 40% off. Probably not. And then these are some little doggy costumes. Even more Day of the Dead. Plenty of candy skull type of stuff. These are candles and candle holders. Coffee cups. There's candles. These are some light up things. They have ghosts, pumpkins, eyeballs, like string lights. These are little 
kind of like fairy lights in the Halloween designs. I like the candy corns. And they've got bats and cats, jack-o'-lanterns, more Halloween lights. These are things you can set up more in your yard. I like that tree, that's kind of cool. Check out the skeleton with the wings. That's pretty creepy. And then they have the bigger skeletons. Check out this cat. I can't tell if it looks grouchy or just evil. <laughs> Plenty of bats. And then over here, you've got more of the skeleton type stuff. Here's a witch upside down, just her legs. A Venus flytrap. That's kind of cool. Several different kinds of wreaths and garland. They got the fun ghost ones and then the more spooky black themed ones. These you can hang like from a tree or on your front porch. It would look cool. I like the ghost. Now these old pictures really creep me out. They had a lot of these. They're kind of creepy. This is some more fun lighting and an old phone. These eyeballs are pretty cool. They look good hanging from a tree. Hanging candles. They look like they're just in the air. Like they're just there floating around in the air. This is blood splatters you could put on a window. Ouija board type of stuff and fortune teller stuff. The dead inside sign. Welcome with the bat on it test tubes. They had lots of fortune teller type of stuff. I like this witch hat. It says the witch is in. And then these skeletons are cool. This one looks like the Bride of Frankenstein. Check out this hourglass with the skeleton hands on it. That's pretty cool. And this bird. Typewriter the raven and then this looks like a coffin but it's a shelf the old style Dracula and for some reason they had so many things sitting on a toilet <laughs> I guess that was popular this year book stacks there's the Frankenstein sign I like the three skulls with the raven on top And this cat, me, myself, and my cat sign. I like this mirror with the cat and the stack of books on it. Moon's out, broom's out. Wreaths and signs. Check out the skeleton at his computer. <laughs> And the black cat with the Ouija board. Plenty of black and purple and gray flowers. Never mind the witch. Beware of the cat. 
I like the little cat with the witch's hat and the books. Witch's garden. I like this mirror type thing with the witch and the bats. That's pretty creepy. And this witch sign, I like that. They got the snake and the hourglass with the snake on it. More stuff on the toilet. The headless horseman, it looks like, on the toilet. There's Frankenstein reading the paper on the toilet. <laughs> I like the white skull with the pearls. That baby with the spider legs is super creepy. Seasons Creepings. There's a skull head with a veil. A white spider. He's done got old and turned white. Check out this tree. That's kind of creepy. White Raven Inn. Check out the witch's shoes or boots. This sign right here just looks creepy to me even though it's white. Signs like this, they look super creepy, like something that came out of an old scary movie. Plenty of Halloween pillows. They have the spider one. They have the skull head. Check out this witch picture. It's creepy. I guess those old looking pictures just creep me out. Okay, over here is a little bit more fun stuff. The black, the white, and the orange pumpkins. I like the one that's open so you can put something inside there. Lots of garlands. I like this one, it was soft. And this one, looks like old black branches. I kinda like the ghost garland too. And then they have like spider web stuff, like table runners, tablecloths. There's some more wreaths, ooh. I really like this cat eyes pillow. It's like a lumbar pillow. I like its eyes. They're purple, and this pillow is really soft too. There's a Ouija board pillow. Boo. <laughs> There's more pillows. Lots of little fun stuff. Halloween cup. I think these light up too. And here's a cute trick or treat pillow. Lots of little spiders and worms and snakes creepy little stuff now here's the aisle that i liked it had so many different colors of stuff on it these little orange and pinkish purple looking ghosts are really cute they got a skeleton sitting on a pink bench with his dog and here we go into the pink and oh a, a skeleton sitting on the pink toilet with his cell phone <laughs> eat drink and be scary they got the disco balls. 
Oh, I love these kind of ombre type of skull heads. Oh, he's sitting on a tombstone and one of them's reading a book and the other one's got his phone. These are just the little fun things. I love these little ghosts, the pink one. They have an orange one in the back. Check out the skeleton in the bathtub drinking a martini. And here's a couple in the tub. <laughs> Creep it real. These little ghosts are so cute. More pillows. See you soon. And check out the different colored spider web. Here's some of those open pumpkins and the black ones. And they got the different colored cats and jack-o'-lanterns. Those are so cute. I like all the colors. Check out these disco pumpkins. I love those. I got them in different shapes too. More pink pumpkins. I'd love to have a couple of those. They're so cute. The pink and black ones would really look good together. Check out this cute little jack-o'-lantern. He almost looks real. Pink, pink, pink. Okay, this is a Clarence Isle, and it says the Nevermore collection. But they didn't have a whole lot left. They had a few things. Lots of florals in all the cool Halloween colors. The black, I like these red ones. And I like these kind of grayish ones. The Headless Horseman. This is lots of little separate pieces that you could get to have like, I guess like a little Halloween type of town or village, kind of like a Christmas village, but it's a Halloween village. They had just about everything you could think of over here. Now these are pretty creepy. They got the tombstones with people's names, these books, and I think these books you can open and put stuff inside there. These babies always freak me out. They're creepy. Another set of witch's boots. And this is like a coffin shelf. You could put stuff in there and leave it open. These little haunted houses are cute. An old timey typewriter. Ooh, it's Edgar Allan Poe, I think. This black creepy mansion. Now these are jars with different things in them. Check out the bird cages though. You, they got Frankenstein and Dracula. Fortune teller. More fortune teller stuff. They had a disco ball candle. They had a few of those. Check out these body parts. <laughs> Candles, book stacks. This is an old candle. Looks like the skull heads dripping down the sides. Ghosts, these are cute. There's the bird cage. And you got a doormat with the eyes. They're $11.99, that's not bad. 
spooky treats and welcome. Then you got more spiders. Ooh, more of these creepy little pictures. Things to make your own wreath. They had like a wreath form. Some of them look like spider webs. I like this one with the branches. That looks like a feather boa. And I like these Halloween picks. They had green, black, orange, purple, white, gray. They got the candy corn picks. Those are so cool. You could put those in a wreath. This is the little pumpkins. The disco balls. <laughs> oh, they're disco pumpkins. Those are neat. You got skull head picks. Little flowers with the hand, the like the skull, the skeleton hand. Pumpkins. Ooh, I like these, the black and white ones. I like the polka dotted ones. Spider picks. Jewels. And the branches that come in the black and the white. The green, the orange. This is a metal jack-o'-lantern bucket tombstones those are pretty creepy that's the Dracula tombstone and then they got the Frankenstein tombstone more of the jars little bags of skull heads this is cute it's like a little plate raven eyeballs <laughs> This is a creepy looking picture with the candles. They had lots of creepy looking stuff. More picks. There's scorpion picks. The silver scorpions. All right, well, we're gonna head out of here. They had a few fun things and lots and lots of creepy things for Halloween. Just looking down each aisle as I walk out. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all have a good one.